guys, it's Lee. Welcome back to my channel and to this late What I've Warmed Wednesday. So yeah, as I said two weeks ago, I didn't do one last week <coughs> and I possibly won't do one next week, but then there'll be one the week after. Just because now the spare room is fini or almost finished being decorated. I'm just waiting for a few bits to finish off before I can put the wardrobe door back on the wardrobe and the chest of drawers back in there and then fingers crossed everything will go back in but at the moment because I'm still waiting for some cork and colour match sealant it's pointless putting too much in because I have to pull everything out to do all that so yeah plus now that's nearly done I've been cracking on with the ensuite build so excitingly the drainage is in <clears throat> um, done a dry fit for the wash hand basin um, waste pipe so just need to get it all done but typically the cupboards I picked where the pipes are all the cup well not all of the cupboards two of the cupboards just need to be completely hacked to pieces to fit around all the pipes and fit under the pipe and oh, it is such a headache but hopefully next two weeks should be done to the point of having a functional toilet don't know about a sink because I the sink that I had when it arrived was completely smashed so I'm reluctant to order another one online so it's just trying to find the perfect size one for the unit otherwise I'll just have to put two different like size countertops on and just hope it looks okay for now until like next year when the toilet and everything will be coming back out for me to add the shower in and I'm only not doing it now because there's knock on work like the fact that there will be a power socket under the sink which in a cloakroom type environment is fine but not as soon as you introduce steam and it also means building a wall and doing all the plumbing for the shower so building the wall and yeah moving radiators and so can't be bothered with that this year so that's the next year problem so um, yeah hopefully it will all come together quite soon so without further ado what have I been warming the last couple of weeks well I did actually finish off quite a few bits do have a nonsense one so I will start with that which is crisp fall leaves from better homes and gardens so this is apple leaves balsam berry vanilla spice and ambered wood scent notes really like this one so that's a non scentsy wax finished up then on to the scentsy waxes these aren't in any particular order i warmed through some snuggle up so this is settle down in cashmere words curled up with angel lavender and soothing sage so this one was in my club well, it wasn't. Then it, <clears throat> I think, I can't remember how I put it back in my club. Was it? Oh, it was in the autumn winter catalogue. Got discontinued for the spring summer. So, excuse me, popped it in my club. Got this bar, warmed a few cubes. I do like it. But I've had a sneak peek of the new catalogue and this is coming back on the 1st of September. So my club is due to process on Friday. <clears throat> so I went ahead, took this out of my club because I thought it's coming back in the catalogue. I've still got six cubes. So I'll just add it to club when I want small, um, if it's close to the processing or when the catalogue discontinues in, what will it be, March? Yeah. Um, in March I will then re-add it back to club. So there was that one. Then I finished off 
a bar of Blooming Beach, which was a Mother's Day bar in 2021. So this is described as the surf's up and the sun's out as notes of beach roses and blush peony join sea jasmine to usher in the fun. And it is unmistakably unadulterated floral. I really like it. A lot of people don't. I do, I'm sure I have another one or two bars of that. Then I finally finished up my welcome little one from the, what was moment by moment collection. So this is soft billowy cotton blossoms and refreshing citrus cradle a whisper of clean musk. And it is a nice scent just for me. It's a bit too light for my liking. In the clamshell, it's fine, but on warming, I just don't find it throws very well. But it is a nice one. And yeah, so that's another one gone. Then I finished off my bar of Cloudberry Dreams, which is sweet raspberry and a whisper of rose saw through billowy bursts of peach and vanilla. And this is such a powerhouse. It's so strong. I was sat outside with my friend Jade last Monday. Um, yeah, so not Monday, just gone, Monday before. And we were sat outside having a coffee and you could smell it through the window that was just open on like the night ventilation setting. And it, yeah, it is such a strong one. Then I warmed through some Peter Pan Sweet and Sassy uh, Tinkerbell. So this is feisty tangerine, lush kiwi fruit and cucumber blossom take flight with a magical dash of whimsical musk and pixie dust. And on cold, this does remind me of furniture polish. It is nice and warm. The citrusy notes really come through when it's warm. Still reminds me of furniture polish though. So I think that's going to, now since there's only half bar left, go into my let's try and use it up pile. Then I warmed through some toasted marshmallow. This summer staple goes gourmet with hints of smoked caramel and vanilla bean malt. And yeah, it's, I can't decide whether I like it or not if that makes sense. Um, I think Vanilla Waves was a nicer scent. It's, I don't know, I think it's just a bit too sweet. But again, I'm gonna try and finish that off soon. And then lastly, I finally finished off my bar of Coastal Sunset. So this is creamy coconut and sandalwood set the scene for warm amethyst amber. And ooh, this is a really nice scent. Um, it does last quite a while. I've just had it for two and a half years. So yeah, I do think it was starting to like, just not be as nice as it was at first. But yeah, so there's that finished up. So that's all I've warmed over the last two weeks. As I've said, there are like one or two there now that I might try and finish up over the next couple of weeks, if not by the end of the month, because obviously then the new catalog is out, which is really exciting because there are some classics that are returning and some that I will be adding to my club at the end of like the autumn winter catalogue just because I do kind of have reservations about whether they will return or not because they have been out for several winters and I know that like last year when Twilight Frost was discontinued that hasn't come back this year so I am a bit dubious as to whether the other ones I like like um, Arctic Kiss and Cozy Cardigan might have run the horse for a while. So yeah, they will be going in my club at the end of March. Yeah, end of March, I think. 
So um, yeah, that's what I've warmed. I would say join me again for the month end empties, but I will be recording that this evening after I've gone and had a shower because I'm not long back from Run Club and quite frankly, I stink. Not that you needed to know that. Um, and also I might, I will go through the little haul, not all home fragrancy stuff. Um, and it's not all mine. I did pick a few gifts um, from while I was at vegan camp out on the weekend. So yeah, um, I will kind of go through what I picked up there. Just as, well, why not? So yeah, join me later or tomorrow for the month end empties and my vegan camp out haul. So until then, I will catch you soon. Bye.